were a couple of posts. Somebody had uh, sent me a message asking you about uh, a tweet that you had placed about the, that commercial of kids and, and the, the school shootings and all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. Is that a direction you oh, want to so. go in? You want to have a conversation about that, or is that way down a road you don't want to go down? No, it's. I don't. I think it's down a road that everybody should go down. I mean, this is our country. These are our kids. This is our future. So, what did you mean by the the statement in that post where we got it wrong for those kids? I think that's what you said. Yeah, we failed these kids. Yeah, we failed these kids. I'm sorry. Yeah. What does that mean? I feel like um, I'm probably gonna get emotional because um, I have all younger siblings, and I love them so much, and I don't want them to feel afraid to go back to school, you know? And the fact that that commercial was made partially by those kids and their experience, and they made it feel so casual, just like buying pencils right. or a backpack. Um, the fact that bulletproof backpacks are something that are being brought in the conversation and not gun reform, which are the things that are actually killing these kids at school, is so messed up. I think that these kids specifically went through so much trauma and still took it and ran with it and tried to do something about it. Most of the time when we see something that we don't agree with politically, no matter what, no matter what you're talking about, you go to you go to social media, you go to Twitter, mm -hmm. you go to Instagram, you talk about it. You make a hashtag these kids didn't only just do that. The part that they also did that a lot of us forget to do is actually take it to the government. They did something. They did what they say America allows us to do. They spoke up. America is supposed to be a country for the people. These kids are the people. They're the future. And they still got no resolve. I'm real proud of you for one not shying away from talking about it. You know, it's something that you put on social media. Clearly, everybody that has access to social media can talk about. But you have an opportunity to go, no, I don't want to talk about that right now. But you take it on. And that's that's pretty special. Not everybody does that. Everybody should do that. It's not, it's not, shouldn't be special. Like, these kids are special because they actually went through the trauma. And they're still taking it on. So I didn't go through that same trauma that they went through. But I feel like we fail them deeply. And it's a normal thing. It's something that we should do. We should fight for these kids. I got three kids, and that video made me think instantly about all three of them, like dropping them off, and it's potentially the last time you see them. They're supposed to go to school. And when my kids come home and they say, hey, Dad, we, we practiced duck and cover today, that makes me go, "You, sh yeah, but what's nine times four? Exactly. Yeah. That's not what they should be learning about. No, you're right. And, and to the people that would, I just don't know how you can argue with that. You know, like people will say, my right, my freedom, my guns, whatever you want to say. But how can you rebuttal children's lives? I don't know. I don't know.